Hey everybody, hopefully everyone can hear me. I'm going to hop over to Facebook on my computer really quick and just make sure that I am actually live because Facebook Live has been really glitchy recently. So let's make sure that I'm actually live on the right page, shall we? <laughs> so hopefully some people will hop on here. Um, do, 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 checking, come on, Facebook is super slow today. All right, we're live just saw myself. So, um, it looks like somebody popped on. Hello, whoever's popping on, um, say hello down in the comments so that I know who's here. That way, you know, I'm not completely just talking to myself. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite line of handcrafted organic herbal skincare. This is skincare that I've been using, um, for years. Let's see, I think I started using it in like 2011, maybe. Um, and it's by far one of my favorite uh, brands but let me introduce myself really quick for those of you that might be new to this page you don't know who I am or what I'm all about so my name is Jessica Espinoza and I am a nutritional therapist and mind-body nutrition coach and I focus on helping women get unstuck in their life so whether that be around um, unwanted behaviors around food and body, like disordered eating, overeating, binge eating, that kind of stuff. Or maybe they're just feeling really stuck around chronic illness or other things that life is bringing to them. Um, I really love just helping women get unstuck so that they can step forward into a really, really vibrant life where they can, they're able to serve their community and the world. Um, that's my ultimate goal is we have a lot of women in our world who are just sitting on the sidelines watching their life pass us by or pass them by and um, that's really a disservice to our world because we have a lot of awesome women out there who need to be serving the world and, and sharing their gifts. So I love helping women get unstuck. So you can find me writing about all things real food, natural living, mindset, uh, nutrition, all that stuff. You can find me on deliciousobsessions.com and jessicaespinoza.com as well. So <clears throat> today we're going to dive into some herbal skincare. So I actually just got this big bag of goodies from Vital Roots Herbal Care. And Vital Roots is a company that's local here in Denver. Um, and it's actually by one of my dearest friends, Lori. She's a clinical herbalist and a nutritionist. So she really knows her stuff. And she started creating um, this line of skincare products really just for her own needs, for her family. She just wanted cleaner, safer products. Um, that weren't full of parabens and rancid disgusting oils and all sorts of toxic chemical fragrances, artificial fragrances, artificial colors, stabilizers, stabilizers all of the stuff that's just really bad for our skin because we have to remember that our skin is actually our largest organ. So what we put on our skin gets absorbed into our body and there's some pretty staggering statistics out there. Um, I can't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head but that are showing um, the numbers of chemicals that are being found in human bodies um, leading to all sorts of chronic illness and disease, but also the amount of chemicals that are in, um, that we're passing along to our babies when they're in utero as well. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of good reasons that we should clean up our skincare. So um, Vital Roots is definitely just one of the brands that are out there, but it's one of my favorites. And I love that it's by a dear friend. It's a small woman owned business. It's just her. She handcrafts everything in really small batches, puts lots of love into it. And I really love supporting small little brands like that because I think that those are the brands that are really bringing about some pretty awesome change in the world. So just one person at a time. So um, Vital Roots is the name of her company. You can find her on Etsy. There's um, the link to her uh, Etsy shop in the video description. She also offered um, our viewers today, a uh, coupon code for 10% off of your order should you decide you want to check out her stuff. So that's all in the video description down below. Um, so here is, uh, this is her skincare, I forget what she calls it, but it's like the skincare starter kit. And so this has like my absolute favorite products in it. So it's a little kit that you get. She calls it her revitalized kit. She just rebranded everything. Um, she was a different name and she had a different logo and everything. And so she just rebranded and I'm loving her new branding. So this is a little card that you get and it um, shows you what all is in this little kit. So this is the revitalized kit. And so in here we have the herbal oil cleanser. <clears throat> 
So I don't know if you guys have heard of oil cleansing before. I think I have a blog post on my site about oil cleansing. But it's essentially cleansing your skin with oil. People use coconut oil, they use jojoba oil, um, pretty much any kind of clean oil. Um, olive oil is one that people use a lot. I use coconut oil when I do it. And the reasoning behind it is because on our skin we have this very delicate um, layer called, it's your acid mantle. And when we use um, soaps and harsh cleansers on our skin, be it our face or the rest of our body, we actually disrupt this acid mantle. And this acid mantle actually helps protect our skin. It helps keep our skin um, nourished and conditioned, but it also kind of acts as a protective layer against harmful pathogens that could come in via the skin as well. So we wanna keep the acid layer really happy and healthy. So. That's one thing that her skincare products, even the, um, the cleansers and stuff that she makes, they are designed to help um, promote the health of the acid mantle and not totally disrupt that with harsh you know, cleansers and um, soaps and stuff like that. So this is the herbal oil cleanser, comes in a little uh, squirt bottle here. Uh, this is all brand new, I haven't even cracked it open yet, I'm still using up the rest of the little bit of stuff that I've got left over and then I'm going to dive into all of my new stuff. But this is just made with um, a bunch of different oils. It's got some avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, um, castor oil, and then it's got, um, those oils are all infused with her organic sustainably harvested herbs. So that's one thing that's really important about herbal skincare is you wanna make sure that you're getting organic herbs so that they're not sprayed with pesticides and fungicides and all the nasty sides out there. Um, but you also wanna make sure that they're coming from sources that are sustainably harvesting because the um, over harvesting of herbs is a serious issue. You know, we can really do a lot of damage to the ecosystem if we're not practicing good um, sustainable agriculture when it comes to stuff like that. So that's one thing she makes sure that she really sources from reputable places. So that's one thing I really love about her products is she puts a lot of time and care into making sure that she's only using um, ingredients that are sustained or sustainably harvested and not going to wreck the ecosystem or not just being unethical um, in any way. So the some of the herbs that she uses in here, chamomile, uh, lavender, rose and marshmallow, comfrey leaf, horsetail, and then it's got some essential oils as well um, too. So awesome cleanser. This little bottle, honestly, you like just to cleanse your face, <clears throat> you just need a tiny little bit. So this bottle will last you for quite a while. So usually this kit will last me, I mean, at probably six months because I just use a tiny little bit at a time. So that's the oil cleanser. The next thing that we have is her gentle toner. So um, everybody knows what toners are probably, but they help just um, kind of minimize lines and kind of condition the face. And so this one is in a base of um, organic apple cider vinegar and then also has some um, lavender hydrosol, some aloe vera, and then again, um, organic herbs like lemon balm, chamomile, rose, comfrey, and then some um, essential oils as well. So it smells, um, I don't think that her formula has changed since the last batch that I've gotten. Let's see if I can open it. It smells, I can't even open the bottle. Okay, well, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. It was sealed. So it does have kind of an apple cider vinegar smell to it, but you get a lot of the herb smell coming out too. So it's not strongly apple cider vinegar. I know that a lot of people, the apple cider vinegar can be a little bit strong. So I don't, I personally don't notice a lot of the apple cider smell in this. I smell mostly herbs. So if that was a concern. Um, <clears throat> the next one that she has is her Revitalize Moisture and Wrinkle Reducer. So if you guys have, purchased from her before because I've yeah, I've been a huge fan of her company and her products for a long time and I've talked about it before but I believe that this is the one that was called eye pop um, and so she actually created that to be kind of like a an under the eye an eyelid um, lotion but people just loved it it makes my skin feel so amazing I use it all over so even though she initially created it just to be used in this delicate area around your eyes I use it all over my face and it is absolutely wonderful it soaks in really well, it's not greasy, and it's super light, but it makes your skin feel so incredibly conditioned. So this is probably, I say everything is my favorite of hers, but <laughs> this is probably my favorite skincare product. It might be tied for my second favorite, we'll see. I'm gonna say that everything's my favorite. Um, but this one has um, aloe vera, some lavender hydrosol, um, 
some different, some uh, coconut oil, and then a bunch of different essential oils and herbs as well. So super nourishing for your skin. And so I think she sells all of these products individually. Um, she just happened to have one of the kits that she sent me home with when I was over there recently. So, um, so that's why I got the pretty little box. But I think you can buy each thing individually as well. Um, and then also in this little kit, she sends you some of her inside out herbal infusion. And so I'm a huge fan of herbal teas. I think that's one of the best ways to get um, nourishing herbs into your body. Um, and I drink a ton of tea. I drink probably two quarts of tonic herbal tea every day. I make it by the gallon and I just drink it throughout the week. Um, and this is a really great blend of herbs that are supportive inside and out. So for skin health as well. So this is a blend of uh, nettles, rose hips, alfalfa, lemon balm, peppermint, spearmint, raspberry leaf, oat straw, horsetail, ginger, and then a few other things. And a little bit of stevia, so it's very slightly sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, <clears throat> so this is a great one on a hot day. Super refreshing from all of the mint and everything in there. So that is the little skincare kit. Let's see, okay, so now we have two of her uh, hair and body oils. So this Thai ginger body oil, hair and body oil, this was the very first product that I ever tried of hers back in like 2011 and 2012, whenever um, I hadn't even met her yet actually. She sent it um, with a friend, that a mutual friend that I was meeting. She just sent it as a little gift for something I had given her. So. Um, this was the product that launched a lifelong friendship. So I have a little special place in my heart reserved for the Thai ginger oil, but this is amazing stuff. So you can use it on your skin just like you would um, a lotion. It is oil based, um, but it soaks in. It still soaks in really well because the oils are, um, <clears throat> they're just really super good and nourishing for your skin. Um, so she's got a bunch of different herbs in here. It's hard to read because the print is so little, but some rosemary, nettle, sage, um, and of course ginger. <clears throat> and then some of the oils that she used, um, uses uh, olive oil, jojoba, avocado, sesame, apricot, um, rose hip, and coconut oil. Um, and then she's got some essential oils as well. It smells amazing. So the essential oils that she uses, for those of you that know essential oils and what they smell like, so she's using some ginger, cedarwood, um, and patchouli. There's a couple of other, and vetiver in here. So very earthy, very grounding. Um, I am a huge fan of those earthy grounding scents. Those are my favorite. I'm a huge patchouli and vetiver fan, so this is probably why I love this oil so much. But um, I use this just on my skin and sometimes I'll put some on my neck kind of as a perfume because it smells so good. Um, but you can also use a very, very teeny tiny amount in your hands and just rub it like this. And then if you've got kind of frizzy hair, you can just kind of gently like touch your hair and it will calm that frizz and smooth things out. Um, unless you have super, super dry hair, you don't want to go totally crazy with that because then it'll get kind of oily looking. But just a little bit kind of down on the ends will really soothe and... Um, make that frizz kind of diminish. Um, <clears throat> the other one, another one of my favorites, see, I told you I can't choose a favorite here. Um, this is her Mystere, I think I'm saying that right. Um, and it's another hair and body oil, just like the, the Thai ginger one, and it's just got a different blend of stuff in here. Um, some of the essential oils that she uses, lavender, vanilla, and then she's got some others listed there too, so I won't give you the whole formula on there, but this one smells awesome as well. <clears throat> Again, very grounding. Um, you get a lot more of the vanilla flavor in here, so it's not quite as earthy. But um, again, use it the exact same way. I've used it on my face. I've actually used all of both of these oils on my arms and stuff too. Um, if I get a sunburn or if my skin is just extra dry, especially in the winter, it's really great for, for dry skin. Um, or I just use a little bit kind of, um, you know, under my hairline or behind my ears just as a perfume because it smells so awesome. So uh, I think she has a few other hair and body oils too, if I remember correctly. So check out her Etsy shop to see what she's got on there right now. Um, like I said, she makes everything in small handcrafted batches. So if she's out of something now, that doesn't mean that she's out forever. It just means that she's got a new batch coming. So um, you could always shoot her a message and she could just let you know whenever it's back in stock. So that's, oh, here's, I think that's all the skincare stuff that I have for today. So she, in addition to skincare, she also does um, sell some kind of home care stuff. Um, 
and some herbs for like herbal teas and, and uh, nourishing support like that. But this is one thing I wanted to mention. So this is, I don't, I can't pronounce the word that it is and I always mess it up. So I'm just gonna call it the linen spray. Um, and so this linen spray is awesome. This is essentially Febreze that's not going to kill you. Um, <laughs> Febreze and all of these air fresheners are horrible for you. They're terrible for the body, they're terrible for the lungs. They're filled with all sorts of chemical fragrances and just all sorts of junk that, you know, studies are starting to show that all of the stuff that we're putting in our air and our environments and on our skin, I mean, they're leading to things like cancer um, and all sorts of chronic illness and stuff like that. So I'm a big advocate of not using those toxic um, chemicals in your home. So if you want an air freshener or a, like a linen spray, like, you know, Febreze, advertises that you can go around and spray your couch or um, your carpets or whatever. The linen spray is an awesome alternative. And so this um, is just a blend of different essential oils um, and some lavender hydrosol and things like that. So I always just shake it up really good. But I spray this on clothes if they need a little bit of uh, freshening up. Um, I've sprayed it all over my couch. I've sprayed it on my rugs. I've sprayed it on my dog's beds. Um, I've even sprayed it on the back. Um, the essential oils are safe for dogs. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy, but I've even sprayed it on my, the back of my dogs whenever they've gotten extra stinky, just to kind of tie me over until I can take them to get a bath. Um, but this stuff is awesome. I go through bottles and bottles and bottles of this. So I have, I literally have a bottle of this in every single room. So, um, definitely check this out if you're a big fan of Febreze and you love having those air fresheners and fabric fresheners and stuff like that, but you're really sick of exposing yourself to all of the toxic ingredients, this could be a great option for you. So go check that out for sure. Um, then I have three more things I want to show you. So um, the next thing, this doesn't have the actual label on it, but this is her um, Gut Heal and Soothe. This is an herbal um, blend of, let me see if I have her site up. I can't remember what all herbs are in here. I know marshmallow is in here. I'm going to see if I can pull it up on our site, but I can't see it real quick. But this is a blend um, that she made specifically for promoting gut health. You know, gut health is a huge thing. Um, I've got tons of articles on my site about gut health, but it's a really awesome blend of herbs that help support that. So like I said, Marshmallow, her old, um, she did have Slippery Elm in her old versions, but I think Slippery Elm is now on the in dangers list so she's removing that from her formula so this is the new formula but this it's a really really fine powder I don't know if you guys can see that super fine powder so what I do with this you could brew it just like you did tea um, and then just drink the powdered herbs because they're super nourishing anyways you don't even need to strain them off makes an awesome tea I believe there's some some cinnamon and ginger in here too so it's very uh, warm spices in there um, I love to make cookies out of this. Um, we have a recipe that we've kind of tweaked off of my friend Renee's website, um, and we use this, and we're gonna post that on our site in the near future. So it goes great in baked goods. Um, and then I've also sprinkled it in yogurt and in applesauce. It tastes amazing in applesauce. So if you have applesauce lovers in your family and you wanna get some gut nourishing herbs into them, applesauce would be a great, um, carrier for these awesome herbs but they smell really good I know there's some ginger and some cinnamon there might be some cloves I can't remember the full list and I don't have um, the actual label on here with all of the ingredients but check that out if you're a big fan of gut uh, gut healing herbs um, the last or second to last one is this dragon juice you guys have heard me talk about dragon juice before so this is essentially um, like Kool-Aid and tea version. So she actually created this, um, Lori created this for her family, for her kids when they were little as a Kool-Aid replacement. Um, and so this has just a ton of super nourishing herbs, tonic herbs that are safe for everybody, um, including some rose hips, hibiscus, hibiscus elderflower, spearmint, um, and some nettles and ginger, um, and some stevia. So it's very lightly sweet. So you could add a little bit of extra sweetener if you like your tea super sweet. Um, but this brews up, I wish I had some of it brewed, but it's this beautiful red color from the hibiscus um, and it tastes really good too. So the kids love it. And what I love is that now whenever there's um, like socials like um, or get togethers at her kids school, this is what she brings. She brings like a couple of gallon jars of this and either serves it just over ice. You can serve it warm 
or cold taste amazing um, and then what I've been doing this summer is actually taking this and blending it with some um, or mixing it with some ginger ale I get that um, Zevia brand ginger ale so it's the one that's made with erythritol and uh, stevia and I mix like about three quarters of the dragon juice with about a quarter of the uh, ginger ale and then maybe a little splash of lemon or lime juice if I have it super refreshing oh so delicious that's probably my favorite way to drink this right now but I'm sure by next summer I will have a new favorite way to drink it but um, this is definitely one of my favorite teas and one that I keep on hand all the time um, and then the last one I have is the kava cream chai I don't think that she sells this on her Etsy shop because there's if I remember correctly she told me one time I think there's some legalities around the kava um yeah so that's I'm not even gonna broach that topic because I'm not well versed in it uh but if you're local I think that you can buy it from her locally so if you're here in Denver you can maybe uh, message her or if you're elsewhere in the country and you're interested in this maybe send her a message through Etsy and she can let you know whether or not she can ship it to you I'm not 100% sure so sorry about that um, but this has got kava kava uh, cinnamon cardamom ginger and clove so again really warm earthy grounding spices and um, you make it into essentially a chai tea you blend it with some coconut milk or you could use whatever milk you wanted with it and it's really creamy and earthy and delicious uh, this is a really good nighttime tonic for me I tried drinking this one morning and I was zonked out for the whole day it was a Saturday morning I remember I woke up and I made my cup of chai and I went and sat on the back porch and I was reading and I drank my chai and then I was pretty much out of it for the rest of the day because it made me so relaxed and so tired that I didn't get anything done that day. So whenever I drink this, I reserve it for evening time um, within an hour or so of when I want to go to bed and it just really relaxes me and just makes me feel super chill and I sleep really good that night. So um, that is, I think, everything that I have. Let me check. Yep, that was everything in the bag. So um, I just wanted to share those with you guys. I had been meaning to hop on here before and talk about her products, and I keep forgetting. And so I just had this new bag of stuff, and I figured it would be a great time to tell you guys about them and introduce you to a new local small business, um, or local to us in Denver, but a small business, woman-owned business, which I'm super super happy to support so if you guys are curious about any of her products hop over to her Etsy shop you guys can use that coupon code for 10% off if you um, decide you want to place an order um, if you have any questions about her products or things that I've used or how I've used them leave me comments down below and I'll be happy to answer those for you um, and then if I don't know the answer I will find out the answer for you so I am going to sign off for now, but I really appreciate you guys hopping on here. I know there was a handful of people that stayed the whole time, so thank you very much for that. Um, and I will look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.